Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how we can use Salesforce and Twilio to follow up with the leads via outbound idea call. So we have we have often seen a sales team uh, kind of struggle with managing the pipelines, right? Leads often get uh, cold if, if they are not uh, followed up regularly. And reps managing the manual follow-ups is kind of a tedious task for them as well. So today we, we are going to see how uh, we can automatically call the lead in Salesforce uh, using Twilio IVR to remind them of any pending deal or any any sort of uh, feedback or follow up we need from uh, the lead, right? And that would be logged back into Salesforce. Right. So so let's get started with uh, this. So first of all, what we are going to see is uh, we'll see how and what steps are required from the Salesforce side. How to sales, uh, set up the Salesforce. How we can set up the Twilio uh, and all the steps uh, uh, we'll see one by one and then we'll see IVR live in action how is it working so I've jotted down some steps here uh, what needs to be done from Salesforce side and what needs to be done from Twilio so we'll go to each and every step and we'll see um, how it uh, works out right so let's get started so the first and foremost thing that we need to do is uh, we, we should sign up for a free Twilio account, right? So just go into a search bar or any browser and type in Twilio sign up, right? And the first link that you will see, try Twilio for free. You can just click on that and fill in the basic details that we are uh, able to see here, like first name, last name, email, and password. You would also need a valid phone number uh, here. After signing up, they will ask for a, a valid phone number, right? Now, as soon as you sign up uh, and and account would be created for you here uh, this is automatically created we don't need to do anything here and the main things that we would need here is account sit and auth token right these would be used uh, for integration with salesforce uh, we'll see in the later steps how it is utilized but apart from this uh, what we would need is one more thing uh, after you go to your twilio home on the left hand side uh, you'd see phone numbers right if, if you don't see this phone number columns just click on this explore products right there are a lot of products uh, given by uh, twilio right among which one is uh, phone numbers so you can just pin this uh, to the left side this would be one and the other thing that we would require is the studio right so the studio needs to be uh, pinned to the left side which we would be uh, utilizing right you can also uh, pin the functions functions would be at a later stage but yeah um, the main things i would say is phone number uh, studio and functions right now once we have the phone number option here you can just click on active number now i have already bought a number here so in this trial account we get uh, 15 dollars i think around as trial and you can buy a phone number i think uh, a dollar or two are deducted from this but nothing from you uh, from our side right 15 dollars are directly deposited here you would say uh, by by Twilio only and you get a, a, a phone number here right so this would be utilized for initiating the call via Twilio to our lead right so even we are initiating the call uh, from from Twilio there should be a from number right the call should be initiated from a particular number so for that we need to buy a virtual number here right now once the these are the basic things that we need from the Twilio side uh, we can move over to uh, what we need to do in Salesforce right so in, in Salesforce you can uh, log into any dev org the, where you are uh, doing a POC or any sandbox that you have uh, go to quick find and just type name credentials this is the first thing that we need to do uh, let us see in our uh, doc as well right so these are our action items and first we need to create our external credentials and name credentials right so for this uh, go to external credentials click on new uh, just type in Twilio IVR or any name uh, you can use and select as uh, basic authentication for now now once this is done we need to create a principle for this so I'll just say Twilio IVR principle right. 
and here you can select as name credential now the earlier credentials that we saw here account SID and auth token those we can directly copy and paste here to create our named principal and click on save so you should see a configured authentication status here that is important once it is got, uh, configured we know that uh, this username and password is valid right now one thing that we need is one more that we need to give the access of this principle right on our on our profile right so let us go to our uh, user right? and to our profile for giving the external credentials principal access let me go here click on edit and we should have only one principal access here now once the access is given we can go back to main credentials external credentials and see that over here uh, we should have the principal access now right for our profile now we have created the external credentials uh, for this for making an actual call out we need the name credentials as well let me just grab the url we need here and type in the name as twilio ivr twilio ivr and select the external credential that we just created right let us go back to our doc and review so we have created the external credentials and name credentials uh, as of now we have given the access on our profile as well the next thing is okay before this uh, we should create a twilio studio flow right that we would be designing for making an outbound call right and then we'll write an apex script to kind of invoke that uh, flow right in, in twilio studio so for that uh, you can from the left hand side uh, as we discussed right we need to pin the studio product as well here so in studio you can go to flows now here i have already created an ivr sample flow but we, we will create one more uh, now right? let me just click on new and give the name as studio ivr outbound right we will we'll start from scratch now there are a few uh, widgets uh, you can see on the right hand side here right those are helpful for us to take any sort of action that we need right this is quite quite similar to our uh, record triggered flow in salesforce right just the triggering point here can be different things right uh, an incoming message coming to the number that we just bought right an incoming call any conversation that we are having we can execute uh, a subflow as well right and the one that we are going to look at is a uh, rest api right so we would be invoking an api uh, from salesforce and then firing uh, the flow that we are going to des design here right so for that let us concentrate on the widget library that we have here let us think through what would be the steps uh, we would need in this flow right uh, so first we would be making a call out right to the user that would be the first and foremost thing that we would uh, be doing as soon as we hit this api or invoke this api the next thing that uh, we we would be uh, doing is like as part of this call we will mention to the lead that we are calling that this is a follow-up reminder for something right and we'll ask them uh, to provide an input uh, via keypad right and we will gather that input on our side uh, on, on the twilio side to make a decision right maybe if they are interested or if they are not interested we will kind of hit salesforce back again and update uh, their status if if they are interested in the follow-up call if they want to know uh, something else or if they need any assistance from the sales rep right? this sort of thing they they can provide via the uh, keypad input and we can update uh, that input provided by them back into salesforce but for now we'll we'll just collect that input and on the basis of that we we have to make a decision right so maybe this split component that we see here split based on this is one of the widgets uh, that twilio provides which is kind of similar to the decision box that we have in salesforce and the last thing i think on the basis of this maybe we'll 
just acknowledge them uh, with a you know, with a thank you message or something like that. Great. Now we just have to stitch uh, these widgets uh, together for our flow to work. Right. So the first thing that we need to understand about this call user widget is as soon as we invoke this API, we need to call the user. Here we can see two variables uh, that are defaulted automatically. So number to call this is stored in this variable contact.channel.address which we would be passing from uh, Salesforce and number to call from would be defaulted to flow.channel.address which is the flow uh, which is the number phone number that we just bought uh, some time ago correct uh, as soon as we logged in and signed up we we, we bought a, a phone number a virtual number from Twilio so that would be defaulted to this way people now once the call is initiated and the call is picked up may be answered by the lead you would like to play a specific message uh, in an automated voice to the lead right so that message we can pass from salesforce so we are going to look at both the ways we can keep the message hard coded here as well and we can pass it from salesforce as well so here we'll see uh, how we can pass it from salesforce so maybe we will create an attribute called as reminder message in salesforce and pass that as the request body uh, while hitting this api to invoke the flow right and the, the format or the nomenclature to access that variable would be flow dot data dot the attribute name that we are sending from uh, salesforce so in this case we'll name it as a reminder message right now once we uh, say the message the user would respond via a keypad input we we will analyze that input and make some decision on the basis of that so maybe split we would like to split on the basis of which variable we need to use is this is the gather to that is the name of our widget on the basis of that the digits that are provided via the lead on the basis of that we would like to make a transition right now let me go to this and set up a condition if they press one uh, we would like to invoke uh, uh, another widget which would give them an acknowledgement message right so maybe thank you for showing your interest mm, a sales rep would get in touch with you within 24 hours right something like this and we can just save this so we have our flow ready right this would be the flow so let me just publish this and to recap what would happen is as soon as we hit this flow um, we would initiate a call to the lead the lead would hear the reminder message that we will configure and send from salesforce provide their inputs via keypad and uh, keypad uh, numbers and then we'll play a acknowledgement message to them right if they press one if no condition message uh, matches or any other press one two three any we can we can branch out other steps that we want to do but for simplicity for this uh, we are branching out only one one step okay so now the next thing that we need to do is let us go to our sheet and see we have already created a, a rest api triggered uh, twilio studio flow here right the next thing that we need to do is write an epic script to invoke this ivr that we have written so we have published this and this is ready to go right now let us go to the uh, developer console and see the code let me grab the method that we are going to use to make the call out and i'll walk you through this uh code line by line right so this is the method that we would be invoking the two number would be the leads phone number that we are trying to reach out the from number would be the phone number that we just bought in uh, the twilio studio right and i'm sure uh, we all know how to make a call out using the name credentials this is the name credentials name that we uh, saw initially and the main thing that we need to see is the flow that we designed and created right it is assigned with a unique execution id a flow execution id that should be the same 
here that we are hitting from uh, Salesforce. Right. The next thing that we need is the request body, right? And in this, uh, it's pretty uh, simple. I would say the two number whom we are reaching out, the from number whom from which number we are initiating the outbound call and the parameters, right? So in the parameters, we can have various attributes um, as per our need. So for now, you can ignore this record ID and SF username. Uh, this will come later. But you remember we had configured an attribute as a reminder message, right? So that we can uh, give here. The, the, the variable name should be same. The attribute name should be same. Reminder message. And we can configure it as, hi, this is Astro Atlas, our company, checking on our recent pro uh, proposal. You can just press one if you are ready to move forward or maybe two if you are no longer interested. Right? And we can set the body and send the request across. And this is not at all a production ready code, but for us to see any logging, any failures, uh, I've, I've written this and nothing else. As soon as I execute this line of code, I as a lead would get a call on my phone. Right? So for simplicity of understanding, uh, I will share my phone screen as well, as soon as I uh, execute this line of code. So let me keep my phone screen sharing ready so that we are able to follow through right? what is happening and what messages are playing here. Now, let me execute this line of code and share my phone screen. You see, I've got a phone call uh, from the Twilio sample number that we had configured. Right. Let me just accept it and. Count. You can remove this message at any time by upgrading to a full account. Press any key to execute your code. Hi, this is Astro Atlas checking in on your recent proposal. Press one if you are ready to move forward. Two if you are no longer interested. So I'll just press one. Thank you for showing your interest. A sales rep would get in touch with you within 24 hours. Right. So as you saw, the execution exactly went as per the flow that we uh, designed and implemented here, right? Where we were able to integrate Salesforce with uh, Twilio and initiate an outbound call uh, to the lead, right? So maybe in part two, we'll see uh, the input that we got from the lead, how we can send back this to Salesforce and update it on our lead record, right? So that's it for uh, this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in part two.